I love the Appalachian Mountains. But why are they here? Well, let's ask the mountains. Why are you here? Silent treatment. Guess I'm gonna have to explain myself then. First, we need to talk about how mountains form. So the earth is covered in tectonic plates and they're constantly sliding around and bumping into each other. When these plates collide, they get crinkly. And those are the mountains. As you can see here, the Sierra Nevada mountains form at the place where the Pacific and the North American plates collide. So you would expect to find a tectonic collision near the Appalachian Mountains, right? Well, no. The Appalachian Mountains are right in the middle of the North American plate. The nearest tectonic plate boundary is over a thousand miles away in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. To try and understand this discrepancy better, I drove up to Mount Mitchell, the highest peak in the Appalachians. I'm near the peak of Mount Mitchell in North Carolina, known by the natives as Atacula. Mount Mitchell is the highest point east of the Mississippi River and the highest point in the Appalachian Mountains. Mount Mitchell stands at 6,684 feet. But compared to the mountains in the Western United States, these are little, itty bitty, goo goo ga ga baby mountains. The mountains in the Sierra Nevada and Rocky Mountains are so much bigger than the Appalachian Mountains. The gargantuan peaks dwarf these rounded hills. So why are those mountains so much bigger? And why are the Appalachian Mountains so puny? How do I come out? I can't see it all. Nothing below that foot there. Oh, that was really good. The answer, as with many things, is time. The Appalachian Mountains are 480 million years old. That's twice as old as the dinosaurs. When the Appalachians formed, life hadn't even ventured on land yet. Fish were just starting to evolve. Do you remember the Appalachian Mountains forming? When the Appalachians formed, they were the same height as the Rocky Mountains, about 14,000 feet. But the perpetual cycle of rain over millions of years has washed the jagged peaks the Appalachians used to be into rounded hills that they are now. But it still doesn't make sense how the Appalachian Mountains formed. If mountains are formed by tectonic plate collisions, then shouldn't there be a plate collision near the Appalachian Mountains? The answer is that tectonic plates change over time. They change shape and they change the boundaries. When a tectonic plate collides with another, one of the two plates subducts, meaning it goes under the other plate. The plate that didn't subduct crinkles and the mountains form. But plates are bordered on all sides by other plates. So by moving toward another plate, the subducting plate must be moving away from a plate as well. When the subducting plate moves away from the other plate it touches, it draws up lava, which cools and becomes new crust. The Appalachian Mountains formed when the continents of Africa and Europe crashed into the North American continent to form Pangaea. The African and European plates subducted and the mountains formed. Then, 200 million years ago, the plates began to move apart. As they moved apart, new crust bubbled up and the Atlantic Ocean was formed. This explains why the plate division area is halfway between Africa and North America instead of near the Appalachians. Lava bubbled up and formed new crust as they moved apart. After the continents drifted apart, some of the Appalachians were actually left in Europe and Africa. The Appalachian mountain range is also in North England, Scotland, Ireland, and Morocco. So why are these mountains here? Because continents are on big ol' slip and slides, and they sometimes hit each other. Thanks for watching, everybody.